Alright, so I have been away from Age of Wonders for quite some time, so I decided it's time that I take on the mantle to play Age of Wonders once again. And I did say that I'll play Bloodfang Orcs, but I decided to play it in the campaign mode because uh, I feel like I get bored pretty easily while playing a game without any quest or anything like that. While the campaign mode does give me some kind of quest and everything. To begin with, this one was a very easy one. The next one, I decided to play that one a hard one because, uh, well, it's it's a, it's a, it gets very easy on easy mode, you know. And we are playing as Bloodfang Orcs, which is, makes this even more easier because it's it's very easy to just defeat people in this whole scenario in general. To begin with, it's basically a field realm, which is like you have three people to defeat or something like that and yourself. And all we need to do is basically a military victory them, and which, which is what I did. To begin with, this is not a mission or anything like that. This is a very small realm which is trying to basically teach you the game and everything. This is basically the game teacher of the game. Game teacher of the game. The tutorial of the game. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, it's like the tutorial stage of the game. After this is the actual story mode that begins. And uh, I do not know that. And I just went in thinking that, okay, this is the campaign. Maybe I should just play it. And uh, I did actually get bored playing this because it was just so easy. Because the... M actual difficulty you can't even change it because it's supposed to be a tutorial so the game itself is pretty easy in general now if i move away from all of this right and move on to the next campaign which is the mountain doors which will be in the next video obviously which i did uh i did the uh, do it on a hard difficulty and freaking hell that was hard well it ended in 42 turns because there were only three teams but freaking hell just to get to that one yaksha yak i think so that was the name of the other team took me forever i'll get to that again this one is there really anything to talk about this camping not really but i have to stretch this video out so i'll just talk about it to begin with we just begin with the bloodfang orcs which they they just begin with a loaded army which are pretty strong and basically can take everything out i most of the battles i just auto combat because it's just so easy to deal with all of these guys out there that are trying to like take us out R really like it's, it's very easy to take them out really so uh, the teams that i meet throughout this oh yeah we also take out the free city uh, cities and just raise them uh basically let me just give you the gist of how i did everything and uh, all that i won't just i won't go into much detail and everything because it's again i play on easy mode I don't feel I accomplished anything over there, so I will just move on with that <laughs> and just give you the gist of what happened. Basically, my I did tell you guys that I will do a chaos thing, and I didn't want to do another one of these videos where, yeah, military victory would have been fun, but honestly, if I halfway through I was just stomping everybody, it just wouldn't be that fun. And again, I didn't have any kind of quest or anything like that that I wanted to do, and that's the reason why I was playing campaign. Uh, okay. Now that my justifiable reason is out of the way and why I started playing the campaign all of a sudden instead of playing a custom realm and everything, uh, let's actually talk about what I actually did. This is the chaos campaign I went for, like the chaos tomb is what I went for throughout this. And throughout the whole chaos tomb, I got so many freaking cool shit, like a phoenix as well. And a phoenix is a tier 4 unit, by the way, and I got it like around. 40 turns or something like that 25 30 turns uh, the thing is when you go through the imperium of the chaos affinity freaking hell that affinity is broken as hell if you're going for a military victory because all you need to do is take on like early expansion three guys got it three cities got it you got your three heroes got it now move on move in now this was an easy difficulty again so it might be harder on a normal difficulty but for me as i'm speaking it was another easy difficulty and this is how i played it so i just went in there raised the city uh, there's this bonus you get in the chaos affinity that you can use while uh playing this game then maybe a normal difficulty it's uh, it'll be the same but it'll be a, the battles will be a bit harder than usual but yeah there's this thing you can use in the chaos affinity this ability which is basically like even ever you raise a city you get like plus certain amount of gold i just don't remember right now on top of my head but you get the certain amount of gold when you're playing on uh, chaos affinity a tomb and everything and whenever you can unlock this ability to get certain amount of gold from raising cities and stuff your gold skyrockets 
it's so good to just raise city because you already get 200 gold from raising the city or 300 i don't remember but yeah you get this certain amount of gold for raising the city already right after you raise the city you got this gold after you get this gold you add that gold more onto that the, the the bonus gold that you get that's worth it all and you can just create a bunch of units which i did my economy was in minus and i still somehow was able to maintain my uh, gold income just over a thousand and stuff again this might be the easy difficulty in syndrome but again normal difficulty is just a, a notch higher than that right and i was playing a normal difficulty and i think so even if i didn't have thousand gold i think so i would have had about 500 400 gold something like that i even went to a deficit for a moment and I was like, holy shit, I'm out of gold. Maybe minus 16 is a bad idea. Like there was this one moment where I just had 16 gold and exactly minus 16 was the uh, number that I, I was going to put me in a deficit. And jeez, the raising of the city is the reason why that uh, deficit was recovered because I recovered like 200 gold in an instant and that just helped me in a big, big way. Again, playing has a military campaign, a military victory campaign, a military clan which is basically an evil clan evil alignment clan who just does everything like just storms on everything it's very easy to do that and i did not care because again it's was easy difficulty i just did not care about care about keeping our diplomacy and grievances like in like the next campaign that i was gonna play oh, that was the mountain dars dars <laughs> mountain wars unlike the campaign of the mountain dwarfs i actually did not care about this campaign in fact this campaign was so bullshit for me that i just stomped through everything this campaign was about 45 minutes to an hour at max about i would say uh and it was like 61 62 turns max i think so and i was auto combatant so like i auto combated at least i think so no i did not have any battle in this uh, easy difficulty i didn't do that in hard difficulty as well i think so yeah i did not do that in hard difficulty because i feel like I am not the best strategist for a battle or anything. I think so. My strategy lies in how I uh, align my army and everything, how I give my army the buffs and everything. That is where my strategy aligns. But here we are talking about uh, basically uh, easy difficulty auto combatant, right? I just uh, do it because it's just. I, even if I tried to go into the battle, I would easily win. And it's, that's how easy easy difficulty is. Like. You are normal, you feel the pressure in a battle, right? When you have this army, like two people, three people, like it's six army, eight army, ten army. You feel that pressure. But when you're playing an easy difficulty, you don't feel that pressure. You have three people against ten army, and you can still easily win because their dumbasses just do some kind of stupid dumbass and just let it let our guys win for some reason. Okay, buddy, it just works out. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't really uh, help me in uh, any kind of situation. And altogether, uh, my footage was a total of 22 minutes, but I also cut a lot of stuff from that footage and also fast forwarded it. So like in all that stuff, if I had to put it, the footage would be around an hour long. And that's usually how long my videos are. Now this video is pretty short. I know like it's around 10 minutes or something like that. And I decided it would be a good idea to just make this into a 10 minute video because it's just I think so instead of like making an hour long video on Age of Wonders, I would like have like these 10 minute videos or 20 minute videos depending on how long my campaign is, right? I would have these videos out there, put it out for you guys. And once I'm done with everything, I'll just compile it all together so that you guys can enjoy all this stuff, you know? So it's just a single video and a single go. And Age of Wonders, I definitely want to play each and every clan. And I am basically making a video on each and every clan that I'm playing. And at the end of every video, I'll just go with an overview of what the clan is about and how I tackle the difficulty of the campaign that is in Age of Wonders. I actually did not know that Age of Wonders had a campaign. Trust me, that is part of the reason why I never started with a campaign. Otherwise, if I was playing the human guy, it would have been the most e most easiest thing and we can move here uh, with uh, the elves. But I think that the elves was not available, so that's uh, one thing I remember right now. Uh, for the next campaign or is it, no it was for the next campaign yeah that elves were not available so it's gonna be something else uh but uh, yeah 
Bloodfang orcs were so much easier to play. I think even if I played a normal difficulty, I would have no issues playing Bloodfang orcs because they're just so, so, so goddamn easy because of how strong they are abilities are they started started equipment is pretty decent i wouldn't say strong but pretty decent in comparison to others uh third they are really really uh good fighters in general because their army composition is just amazing to have chaos affinity just goes well with them and just getting these uh, things from the chaos tombs that we get in the future just these broken ass units that we get in the chaos tomb it's so so easy to deal with those guys like seriously so easy to deal, deal with like whatever is thrown at us again i think so this was a great uh, way to put it like it's it's a brain dead military rush um a military rush unit type of thing yeah there's a good player most probably you will lose but against bots and stuff i think that this is a brain dead military rush easy victory kind of thing Again, I was playing an easy difficulty, alright? Don't blame me if, I, if I'm if i giving the wrong view or anything. I wanted to play on normal, I just couldn't. It, the first stage of the campaign just let, didn't let you play on normal difficulty. Maybe in the future, if I want to go back and play Bloodfang Orc, I will make another video on normal or hard difficulty. I did complete this uh, next campaign, that is a Mountain Dwarfs campaign on hard difficulty. Yeah, I'm not gonna go on hard difficulty yet. I think so. I need a lot more practice because I tried three or four times before completing the Mountain Dwarfs one to have a good run with that because a lot of times what happens is there are two, two clans, right? And one clan is always in the middle of us. We obviously have a free city campaign mission which we have to like uh, converge to uh this free city that we get i don't integrate the free city i just let it be because that's a good way to put a defensive border in front of you against the big baddie of this uh, of the next one but yeah i will get to that in the next video as well i'm talking about it right now and but i will get to it in the next video anyways uh yeah that was a campaign for sure and i uh, i will be looking forward for that for the next campaign i'd say oh boy that's gonna be a tough one i'll play on normal difficulty starting the campaign after the next campaign because i still yeah, still want to get hang of this game it's 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 a tough game to play on hard difficulty uh once i'm uh, i'm able to get more and more easier victories on normal difficulty i think so that's when i think so i can switch on to hard difficulty and start moving in with the mm, campaign where opponents are harder maybe there is a campaign which will force me to play in hard difficulty just and force just like it forced me to play an easy difficulty there are a lot of campaigns that i want to do and well that was that was worth it. this was worth it to doing this was uh, this the next campaign was worth doing every money i think so and i will give you a little bit of background story on everything that is happening in the next campaign but until then what i'm gonna do is end the video over here Again, this is a short video, I know. I didn't have anything for this week because there's a lot of projects that I've been working on, especially Grimdawn. I've been grinding Grimdawn right now. As of right now, when I'm recording this video, I'm, I think so, I'm level 53 or level 54 in the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm grinding Grimdawn like crazy and because I want to get a review for Grimdawn out and I have a lot to say about that game as well. I enjoy that game a lot. Uh, another game that I'm working on is Call of Duty United Offensive. There is also another game that I'm working on is Phoenix Wright, the last part of the trilogy. Uh, some of the Resident Evil series because I am a massive Resident Evil fan if you guys didn't know. And I'm, I'm working on that as well, the Resident Evil series. The, there's also a bunch of other stuff that I'm working on. But yeah, uh, Bloodfang Orcs, Age of Wonders 4, that was the result of what I did in this uh in this video anyways next time when i come around hopefully you guys will enjoy that video because boy there's a lot of cuts because i lost that campaign halfway in so many ways that are unbelievable so i'll just i'll just cut through a lot of things that i uh, my mistakes and everything anyways until next time boys peace out